With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here we go in a rematch of Super Bowl 48. The Seahawks and Broncos are underway. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. Already here, they'll audible to something else. Right out of the gates, here's Smith. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hall. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Two yards to go, second down. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Throwing middle, and it's complete. So he stopped for no gain, and that's going to bring up third and two. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Test two plays in. This is third and two. Now it's Smith. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he will have the Broncos first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him? and try and cover it before he gets going. Throwing again is Smith. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect 4-4 four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well-drilled, well-prepared, and excited to start this game. Now Smith. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing lead. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage in their clearing space. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Second and 10. To throw is Smith. He's got it complete to Clark. 
That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. So Dallas Clark with a catch there, and he stands number four all time in Colts history in receptions. That goes all the way back to 1953 yeah, in Baltimore. Baltimore. Number four, yep. two of the guys ahead of him are Hall of Famers. That's how impressive that list is that Dallas Clark is on. They'll run with Hall. And he will have the first down at about the 21-yard line. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. On first down, right back to Hall. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. They'll fake it. Now Smith. They'll roll him out right. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. And now Smith going to change the play. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Broncos get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by McPherson up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Brady now on first down. He'll buy some time right. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Brady going to throw. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so they can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Seahawk football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. They'll go for it. It's Brady. And he lost the football. And the offense will recover, but it won't make much difference here. This will still be a turnover on downs. So a big play there on fourth, and now first and ten at the 30. And 
That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. A give running right is Hall. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Second and 12. Here's Hall again. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. From the gun, it's Brady. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Brady now to throw. And this is going to be a touchdown. Pete Carroll in that familiar hands-on-knees pose. His guys will go for two here. Brady will look to throw for it. And he'll get in. And they take an 8-7 lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Pat McAfee to kick. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. Back to throw, Smith. This pass out wide to Hall. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for the offense. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And now we've got a third down and three. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Two minutes even in what's been a tight first half. 8-7, our score. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. To the air again, Smith. A pass for Sutton is intercepted. Picked off by Quan Martin. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18.
So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. On second down, here's Brady. Throw left side complete to Chase. Only able to gain a couple there. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They'll try and throw for it here. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Akeem Tlaib. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. Certainly feels like the classic second guess, but let's be honest about it. They had a chance going to halftime with the lead. Why did they take a chance with a throw there? I don't understand that. Well, that's what I'm wondering, and now this defense has to try to protect that lead going into the locker room. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. The open man is Clark complete. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Gardner took a while for him to lock on to a receiver, and he finally found his man coming left to right across the formation. But by the time he got the ball to him, not much of a chance to turn up field and make anything out of it. To throw on second down is Smith. And that's going to be caught by Sutton. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. First down at the 18 yard line. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. right out of the gate we're going to get a delay now the offense knew it they were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game first and 15 <laughs> on play action now Brady and this is going to be incomplete We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. Now a play fake, Brady. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. That's exactly what they were aiming for defensively. A huge early play that cuts off any opposing momentum at the knees. As soon as that snap was made, they were flying to the ball and through the line. Great call from the coaching staff and even better execution.